Hey guys, Hyrulean here. Welcome to Skyrim. This is the long-awaited series that I've been preparing for for quite a while now. We are playing the Relics of Hyrule mod. We are going to explore Tamriel, if you didn't watch the first video, and find all of the Legend of Zelda items. She's just a poor old woman, dear. Um, anyway, before I get started, I figured I'd explain who my character is. Uh, this is Iron Shadowblade. And by the way, this is the first time I've ever played Skyrim, so this is my first guy. But uh, he, let me see, is there a place where I can bring up stuff? So yeah, I am a noob. I'm definitely a noob. Um, his name's Iron Shadowblade. He's level 20, almost 21. His race is Dark Elf. Um, he doesn't really master in anything, to be honest. He's sort of a little bit of everything, I suppose. Um, but I've really sort of got him set on heavy heavy armor um, and one-handed got his heavy armor and one-handed pretty high I'm working on archery and sneak right now and lockpicking as well um, yeah so I'm a noob I've never really played a, any Elder Scrolls game before this um, and I, as you can see I have some other mods installed but that's not important anyway so just to give you a little rundown of some mods that I have installed I have some mods for Possible movies that I'm planning on making: Sky UI, More HUD, Immersive Armors, Immersive Weapons, etc., etc. Oh, and I also have a mod that makes it so Iron can be both a vampire and a werewolf because I wanted to try them both. I know it's a little cheaty, but I probably won't end up using either of them in this series, anywho. So I don't care really. But um, yeah, I'm probably going to be playing as him and doing some story quests outside of the series. So if you see him change. You should expect to see him change, actually, because I'm probably going to play a lot in between recordings. But, yeah, so this is the, the test video. Consider this a pilot. I'm going to try out how I'm going to run everything and see if I like it. And if I don't, I'm going to end up changing it. And also, just to let you know, this is going to lag really bad. Well, at parts, it's going to lag really bad. You're going to notice frame rate, and it's going to make you annoyed. But I'm gonna to, you're going to have to deal with it. And also, I'm not sure what's going on over here with this. But for some reason, his... All of his sheaths are like slightly levitated off of his body. I'm not sure if that's a common thing or something, but yeah, it's sort of weird how that works. Um, well, yeah, let's just jump right in. So here we go. Today I'm going to be collecting the Orden Sword. This is the first episode. I'm at Angine's cabin. If you want a little look at that, if you haven't found it already, which I'm sure you have, because it's near the beginning of the game where you find it. Um, the Guardian Stones are right outside of Riverwood here. You just, like, here's Helgen, and when you escape with that one guy, I can't remember his name right now, you just go down here and pass the Guardian Stones to get to Riverwood. It's just right across the river from there. So anyway, we're here, um, and we're going to go ahead and go inside our house, and here we have the Orden Sword. Um, tell me... Do you ever feel a strange sadness as dusk falls? Yeah, it has a lot of cool things. Um, we'll read the note first, though. What is this blade made of? It is steel, certainly, but well forged. The blade looks rough, but I think that is due to age. Handling it is dangerous. I almost cut open my finger. For now, I am keeping it aside, but I'm sure if I brought it to a talented smith or Alterian mage, they could enhance the blade. Would Quicksilver do it? Perhaps some heat? Too hot and it would have to be quenched carefully. That's logical. I am no smith, though, so I would not know. Also, I forgot to mention, um, there's a smith. I'm not going to go through the upgrading process on any of the things in this mod, but there's a smith somewhere outside of Riften, if I remember correctly. It's like, um, well, let me just, oh, I don't want to place that marker. Whatever. It's a little dodgy, too, my system that I've got running on right now. Um, anyway, here's Riften, somewhere around here. Yep, here's Riften. Um, and there's a Tambrian Forge somewhere off this way. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's like around here or here somewhere. I'm not gonna go to it either way. I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna stick to the finding of the items. I'm not gonna upgrade any of them, but yeah, you can upgrade them. So we'll just, uh, suppose we'll just take that. And, uh, here's the Orden Sword. So that was easy. Each of them have this nice little text that goes along with them. It's pretty nifty. Um, and as you could probably have told already, I have the Spellbreaker 
and the Dawnbreaker because I went ahead and did those quests ages ago. And I've collected quite a few other Daedric artifacts from Randy because I did not know that this was going to go on to be a collection series. But yeah, here's the Orden Sword. We'll equip it. Um, and it's coupled with the Bounty. I mean the Dawnbreaker right now. Um, it looks pretty cool. Okay, and as I said before, I'm a vampire. That's a bit annoying. Um, oh, that's new. Okay, so, yeah, it's another little levitating thing. I'm, I'm guessing that's a bug or something, but, um, as you can see, I'll just get in first person. It looks pretty cool. Um, swings pretty fast. It's got, here, I'll bring up the specs. Um, damage 19. Pretty good basic sword. Good for a starting sword especially because you can get this right at the beginning of the game um weight of 13 which is fair i suppose dawnbreaker is 10 so it's a little bit heavier than dawnbreaker its value it's not as value as dawnbreaker because of damage obviously but it's still a pretty decent sword i mean especially because literally the first couple of quests happen right down this river in that town over there if you can see it Riverwood. If you've ever played Skyrim before, you'll know, but yeah. So anyway, guys, that was the first part collection of the Orden Sword. The last thing I'm going to do in this episode is I'm going to go to my house in Whiterun. Yes, I live in Whiterun. Bree's home. I know, I'm a noob. Sorry. Can't help it, but yeah. Um, I, it's, I think it's a pretty solid house. I mean, I haven't really... I've upgraded it completely already because I've been playing for about a month on this save already, but I'm enjoying the game so far, I'm gonna be honest, it's really immersive, I was not expecting as immersive as it was, because all I ever see is immersive edition mods, but, um, I have a daughter, her name's Lucia, I believe that's her right there, hello Lucia, is that you? Where are you running off to, Lucia? L Lucia? No, that's Brave, that's not even Lucia. Oh well, anyway, let's just go inside my house. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to put them. I'm probably going to get a chest and set it up inside my house for all of them. But for now, we'll just go inside and I'll... We'll go check on Lydia. I don't know, we'll just go inside and... Oh, there she is. Hello. She is. Um... Yeah, so I, might, I, guess, I guess I could just put it on this rack for now. Will it go on there? Yeah, it will. Okay, so there we go. We've collected the Orden Sword. That is going to do it for the first episode of the Relics of Hyrule Collection series, guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and check the episode 0 where I showed off uh, my little beginning spiel and told about the series. If you want to download the link, that'll be... There will be a playlist that you can go to. And if you didn't go to the playlist, just check the channel and you can find the playlist. Anyway, guys... Like I said before, that's going to do it. See you guys later. Goodbye.